Good morning, friends. Today it is nice and drizzly. Got in a good six mile run this morning. It was it was tough for getting up this morning. I think it's partially because I've just been getting a lot more mileage this week. I did, I, I starting Monday, I did six miles, seven miles, eight miles, seven miles, and then six miles again today. <laughs> so, woo! I'm, my body's feeling that. Tomorrow, gotta, got another long run. I think I'm gonna be filming a shoe video that involves running two, so that's like another mile right there. Lots of miles. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and keep this quick, because I've got a lot of stuff to get done. We've got finals next week, and a bunch of like papers due and stuff. So I'm gonna have to get to that as fast as I can, but today I just wanted to talk to you guys about what it sort of means to me to be genuine on this platform, and on the internet in general. It's something that I've thought a lot about, because I have my internet content creator, YouTuber inspirations, that I do draw from in, in many ways, but at the same time, I still wanna be myself and bring something new to the table that's uniquely my own. And there's no way to do that and be trying to be like my favorite creators all the time. It's, it's an interesting line to walk because I do want to draw in the good stuff that I see other people doing because that's a great starting point uh, to building towards something uniquely my own. It doesn't feel like plagiarism, but it feels not genuine. It feels like I'm not being myself when I try to do what someone else has already done. Th that's part of why I'm doing daily vlogs at the moment, is because I just want to sort of develop my own sense of what I do on YouTube. Like already, during quarantine, I've made more videos than I made all of last year. So, so naturally things are changing, things are shifting, and I'm trying to stuff out with these videos is, is really just a big developmental thing that I'm trying to do here. And it, it sort of calls into question that idea of comparison that we all sort of deal with online, comparing um, like our vacation pictures to other vacation pictures, comparing our numbers of followers, our numbers of likes, our numbers of views. And there's all this comparison and what I struggle to do is quit comparing myself to everyone else and just do my own thing. Because I do enjoy consuming other people's content because they're all making great stuff, um, but I also don't want the influence that comes with that in a lot of ways. I don't want to be comparing myself uh, in the way that I currently am and have in the past. I want to just focus on myself. And it's hard to do both things. That's something I'm developing, and I want to sort of include you all in that thought so, so you can kind of pay attention to maybe how I'm progressing, how I'm sort of not progressing, and hold me accountable in some ways. So I would appreciate any feedback you have on these videos because we're all learning. Just hoping to get better as I go. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. There's a red button down there that's really fun to click. I think you should click it. I also have other social media. I do photography on Instagram and I post other stuff on Twitter. So you should go check that out um, and follow me there if you'd like to. So thank you again for watching and until tomorrow, peace.